Chrissy and welcome back to Regain Your Confidence. Today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys and it's on the uh, Blush Nudes by Maybelline, the new palette they just came out with that is actually um, really hard to find right now because a lot of people are um, picking this up at the stores. This is actually a really fun palette. It's really great for summer. It has mostly um, shimmery colors in it. It has just about, I believe, just one matte shade. But um, the look that I created for you guys today is uh, mostly uh, shimmer colors. Actually, I don't think I even used the matte shade, so it is just shimmer colors. And it's great for summer, it's great for going to the beach. It has uh, a little bit of smoky on the outer edge, but um, not too much so you can wear it any time of day day or night and it goes with anything and it should be good with any eye color and um, so yeah I hope you enjoy that also I also just bought the L'Oreal um, Lumi what's it called the um, powder glow illuminator and um, actually this is more like a uh, first impressions on this one because I just use it for the first time during this tutorial and uh, um, yeah I I kind of like it. It's um, really pretty, really, I don't know if you guys can can see it, uh, but I got the one for um, warm tone, so it's more gold. They have actually three different ones, and um, this is the one I thought would be better with my skin, and also for a little lip color, I also wanted to try the La Liqueur, I don't know if I'm saying that right, by L'Oreal, and I like these too. This one, I know they have some matte shades. This is actually um, not the matte. This is the more, um, this is the shiny full coverage one. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you have any questions, again, please just comment below. I'd love to hear from you and please subscribe. If you guys like these makeup tutorials, let me know and I'll create more for you guys. And let me know if you want to see a certain look and um, I can put one together for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will um, see you in a few minutes. So here we go with the tutorial. Well, here I am and don't get scared. I don't have all my makeup on yet, but that's okay. It'll be on in a few minutes. But what I'm doing right now, I've already primed my face and uh, put my concealer on and now I'm just putting on my foundation and I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation. It's actually a two-in-one. It's a foundation and a concealer in one and that's uh, the color I'm using is uh, Ivory 6 and so far I'm really liking this foundation. It's very moisturizing for my really dry skin and um, it has a lot of coverage. It really um, minimizes uh, the products I have to put on my face uh, as far as concealer and all that. And now what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to set my foundation. I'm going to set my concealer with the Makeup Forever HD powder. And what I like to do is, especially under my eyes, I try and, um, well, I have to kind of blend out the creases and all that before I put the powder in or else I'm going to have permanent creases in my eyes uh, for the rest of the day. And that's not good. So what I do is I just take a little bit of the powder and dab it under my eyes uh, so it's, um, it is not too cakey and not too drying under my eyes because my eyes get really dry. What I do is just take my beauty blender and just um, kind of dab it all over my face to set my foundation and I really like this powder in my uh, one of my last videos I did a review on this so if you guys want to check that out and hear a little bit more about that product. Now I'm just taking a, uh, a big fluffy brush and getting the excess powder off my face so I don't have um, white splotches on my face. So Now I'm going to use some powder to fill in my brows. Now you can use any powder that's close to your um, brow color. You never want to go too dark. You want to go a little bit lighter than your normal um, brow color. Yes, I just hit my elbow and that's what that was. That hurt really bad. I hit my elbow and my knee so many times during this tutorial on my table and that was not fun. Anyway, you want to just fill in any bald spots on your brow and you can use pencil if you want. Um, for this look, I'm just using a powder. Now I'm going to set my brows with a gel and I'm using the L'Oreal Stylus Plumper and it's, um, it's a brow gel mascara and it's in the color, I believe, medium to dark. Okay, here we go. The Blush Nude by Maybelline. So what I'm first going to do is take this peach color and I am going to use a flat stiff brush and I'm going to pack that all over the brow and the lid. And now we're going to take the next shade over which is kind of almost like a very pale sea green light gray shimmery color 
And we're gonna pack that just on the lid. And it's gonna give you a nice, beautiful shimmer. Now we're gonna take this mid-tone, almost a pewter color shade for the crease. It's kind of a, a gray tone shimmer. And we're gonna put that in the crease with our stiff brush. We're also gonna take it down to the outer corner. Now we're gonna take a dome-shaped fluffy brush and we're gonna blend, blend, blend. That's a key thing to doing any eye, any eyeshadow looks, any eye looks, it's just blending. So you don't have any harsh lines. So blend, 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 and more blending. So if you have any mistakes, you can always just blend it out. Now we're gonna take the next shade over, which is just a little bit darker than the crease color we used. So it's a darker gray. And we're going to take, what I like to do is I like to use a cosmetic sponge to kind of keep it in line. And we're going to go and put it on the outer corner of the eye with that stiff uh, dome brush. Not the fluffy brush, the stiff one. The one we use for the crease. And you can also use tape. I've seen people use tape um, to help with the fallout, but I like to use a cosmetic sponge for that and it helps with the fallout so I don't get uh, eyeshadow all over my foundation because I do like to do my foundation first. And we just blend, blend, blend. We're gonna do the same on the other eye. Now if you don't have any cosmetic sponges on hand, uh, you don't have to use them. You can always go back with a concealer and kind of clean up your any fallout that you might have. Now we're gonna go back and take that uh, sea green kind of a color. And we're gonna go back and pack that more on the eyelid just to kind of bring it out a little bit more. We lost a little bit of it. Um, and we put all these other shades on and blended them out. Now we're gonna take this pink color and dab it just on the center of the eyelid just to catch the light for a little more shimmer. So there we have it, and as you can see, it's a little bit smoky on the outer edges. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that um, light peach color again and go right under the brow bone just to highlight it just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna take my NYX Black Pencil Eyeliner and go ahead and line my eyes. And what I like to do is take it really close to the lash line for a nice, clean, thin application of liner. Go ahead and do that on the other eye. Now if you like, you can use uh, any liner that you like. I prefer to use pencil, especially if it's more for a daytime look. And now I'm gonna go ahead and line the waterline. Now I'm gonna take an eyeliner brush. And I'm gonna take that mid-tone uh, crease shade that we used. And I'm gonna take that and apply that to the lash line on my bottom lashes. Now you don't wanna go underneath the lash line because it's not gonna look right. You want it to be seamless with the, the liner that you put in the water line. And now I'm gonna take that um, sea green shimmer tone again and I'm going to dab it on the inner corners of my eyes just to lighten and brighten up the inner corner of my eye because that uh, is a really dark area on everybody. So this will catch the light and brighten it up. I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. I'm not gonna be wearing false lashes for this one, so you wanna make sure that uh, you curl your lashes. And now I'm gonna use my Sephora Outrageous Volume Mascara. And I love this mascara. And this is how I like to apply this particular mascara. I just bring it up straight and curl it up. And there we have it. A really simple, shimmery, summery look for you guys. Okay, now we're gonna finish up the face. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer, and I believe it's called Saint, I don't know how to say it, Saint Lucia, Saint Lucia, something like that. Anyway, I'm gonna take a brush, and this is actually a foundation brush, but I like to use it to do a, what little bit of contouring I do just to carve out my cheekbones, and I take the bronze color, the bronzer that's uh, in that contouring pack. And I just take a fluffy brush just to, so we don't have any harsh lines just to blend it out a little bit more. And now I'm going to take the blush and just go over that. Bring some color to those cheeks. 
And you want to make sure that you're blending it seamlessly with the, the bronzer so it doesn't look weird or harsh lines or anything like that. Okay, now I'm just taking the bronzer and I'm just kind of going around my face just to warm it up a little bit. Now I'm going to take the L'Oreal Lumi Highlighter. I am going to dab that right on my cheekbones for a highlight and on my nose, on my chin. Now I'm going to line my lips and as you can see my lips are pretty uneven but that's okay. This is a natural look and if you're going to the beach or something like that you do not want to be hassling with trying to make your lips even, at least I don't. I like my natural lips. Not everybody's lips are perfect, nobody has a perfect face. I'm just using a Sonia Kashuk liner that I got at Target and it's just in a nude shade that I pretty much use for everything. All right, now I am taking the new L'Oreal uh, lipstick, which is, I can't really say the name, so I'll just put it down in the info box below. All right, so there we have the full look. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. And um, please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on Regain Your Confidence. Bye.